African agriculture has a huge potential to feed its peoples, to lift those in need out of poverty, to improve the environment, and to ensure people have healthy, nutritious, and culturally appropriate food. In other words, to meet almost all of the sustainable development goals. How? By transitioning to agroecology, the sustainable future of farming in Africa. We are told we must commercialize our agriculture using agrochemicals by focusing on commodity crops linked to international markets, by using hybrid seeds, by replacing farmers' complex knowledge with a one-size-fits-all recipe. But experience shows this path leads to poverty, poor health, a degraded environment, high-risk ventures, loss of biodiversity, and weakened resilience. In Africa, we see food as a right, not a commodity. Food defines our culture and heritage. It is a source of nutrition and health, a medicine, a ritual, a celebration, a river of knowledge, a symbol of our spirituality. Small-scale African food producers, so many of them women, provide around 80% of Africa's food using only 15% of the land. We are building on the solid foundation to bring about a transition to agroecology. We see agroecology as a people-centered system of sustainable agriculture, combining indigenous knowledge with cutting-edge science, making the best use of nature's goods and services to create healthy communities, and empowering a social movement resisting the corporatization of agriculture. Agroecology is diverse, like nature. It's productive, doubling yields in just a few years. It's resilient to climate change and puts carbon back in the ground. It's efficient, recycling resources. Less inputs, less waste. It's culturally appropriate, local innovations and solutions. An analysis of 50 case studies of agroecology in Africa showed their massive contribution to zero hunger with increased access to safe and nutritious food, higher productivity and incomes, sustainable production systems and biodiversity. Responsible production and consumption improved through better management of natural resources, less chemical pollution, and fewer post-harvest losses. Education improved as families used their increased incomes to send their children to school. Mapping agroecology against the SDGs shows clearly the wide-ranging social, environmental, and economic benefits to Africa, highlighting the need for a major policy shift. We need a complete transformation of our food systems. To do this, food producers need access to land, seeds, water, credit, and local markets. This requires supportive policies, financial incentives, and local market opportunities. Agroecology is a science, a practice, and a social movement. We need research to focus on sustainable food solutions, with farmers and researchers working hand in hand. We need investment to grow agroecology, with more training and extension services, farmer to farmer, learning and exchange. Producers and consumers need to come together and use their power to change the way that food is produced and supplied. In a continent threatened by climate change, malnutrition and poverty, in a world committed to sustainable development goals and to phasing out fossil fuels, it's time to let go of tired narratives and failed solutions. It's time to support small-scale food producers to build a sustainable, resilient, diverse, healthy, productive, and culturally appropriate food system for Africa.